here at the Queen's Hall GMAT 2022. I have the beautiful lady, Jirich. Jirich, what are you all up to in terms of you and your brother and ministry? So that's a very interesting question, right? Mm -hmm. So we have something in store for you guys. We're going to do a collab with a really cool artist. And we just want you all to sit back, relax, and wait a little bit for us. This is my last semester. Oh, you're probably really center. glad about that. Yes, I am. <laughs> And also, I've started back doing work with Is There Not A Course with mm -hmm. Avnal Hector Joseph. And also, I have been what well, I am been wanting to be a part of Youth in Focus again. So, nice. y'all will hear my voice once again on Youth in Focus. So, 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 you're coming back in Youth in Focus? Yes, I have no choice. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. I have more time. I have more time. So, yeah. <laughs> lovely. Yes. Lovely. So, we have been up to a lot. Samuel has been doing more production. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing the ground work. Nice. And who are you doing to work with Is There Not A Course as well? Yes, I am. Yeah. So, we have the Love Caravan going on. I was at Enterprise with them last time. I know lovely. they were at nine stories over the weekend and they had some other little projects um in St. James itself at the space and yeah it's really fun and mm -hmm. it's really encouraging and so I'll ask you all support the cause you know definitely course, yeah. definitely I have Rhonda Love Rhonda it is a pleasure to meet you in person yes. I've only interviewed this lady on on Spotlight via Zoom and so now I have the privilege to see you first Face to face, tell yes. me a little bit about GMAT 2022. How are you experiencing it? Well, thus far, it's, you know, it's a very fine event. It's my second year, actually. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, all that is happening. And I want to say congratulations to everyone in advance. Lovely. Tell us a bit about your music, um, what you've been doing. I know you did recently with, uh, um, what's the name, John, Shumin John. Yes. Um, what's up with you in terms of the music? Well, I recently released my very latest. Um, it's called Fire, produced yes. by Jayla Productions. Nice. And it's doing wonderful, wonderful. Nice. You know, the reception is absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to thank everybody for that. Lovely. I have a very special guy to me, the guy, Jason Rade. Jason, how are you experiencing GMA 2022? So far, it's been fantastic. Mm -hmm. I is mean, it's, um, it's a breath of fresh air, so mm -hmm. to speak, seeing everyone come together for the first time in a while to just celebrate the gospel mm -hmm. of fraternity and uh, just enjoy each other's, you know, um, fellowship, mm -hmm. you know, for this day. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am so privileged to have the lady Rebecca here. Rebecca, I know you are, you are so engrossed in this GMAT. Tell us a little bit about the inception of it and just bring us through the genesis of GMAT 2022. So, I believe it was a few years ago, about a decade ago, we did have Trinidad and Tobago Gospel Music Awards that somebody foreign did. It was at my church. It was okay, but I think that sparked the interest in, hey, we can actually do our own awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Eon reached out to the handful of us, the committee, and said, hey, let's do this thing. You know, we're all pioneers. We have our own gifts and talents in a certain area, radio, management, branding, production events. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's our fifth year and it's an exciting thing. Oh. You know, like every year it gets better. Yeah. It's, it just keeps growing. So. Mm -hmm. How has it been? I mean, we, we're now coming out of COVID, a pandemic. How has it been the, those years during the pandemic, Rebecca? I would say 2020, 2021. 2020 was fine because I was the start of COVID. It wasn't too bad. We had a great attendance last mm -hmm. year. It was shocking because we were in the middle of these past three years and um, every single performer had a dancer, a full team band set up. Wow. The attendance was great. The push was great. The music coming out was still flowing. Mm -hmm. And this year, I mean, we have a full house tonight. So that's wow. for itself that, you know, the enemy can't stop God's work. I mean, what God has started, the enemy cannot stop. So. Yes, in Jesus' name. Yeah, thank, thank you. Jesus so. name. Thank you so yeah. much. I have the beautiful lady. She's going to introduce herself. And just my kind of artist, brand new. Of course, she's, I'm going to have, I'm going to pull you into spotlight, Ivana. Introduce yourself to all our 98.1 FM listeners. Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Ivana Wong, and I was the very first winner of the loud competition that um, Mark Isaac Sunday held. And this evening, I will be singing my very first single. Um, it's my debut. Um, the Lovely. Let's go and let God. So I hope that I can convey that message to others and the listeners, the audience. This is the very first time I'm it's in public. Wow. And I hope that it's really... How do you feel about this being your debut, Ivana? Oh, I'm nervous. Yeah, I, I can really imagine. Nervous. Yeah. Um, but it's really exciting, mm -hmm. you know, um, 
coming out has seen so many people. Yeah. Exciting stuff. I have the lady Mish. She said she's an avid supporter of gospel music. Mish, tell me a little bit about since the genesis of GMAT to now, how has this been experience been for you? Each year has chopped with the other. Yeah. Um, I I believe in the importance of substance over hype and I believe in the importance of giving flowers while while yes. everybody is here. And yes. this is this is a fantastic opportunity to yes. do it and a fantastic way to get it done. Mm -hmm. Um it's nice to be back out. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nice to be back out. It's nice to be here. It's nice to see everybody and be able to gather in one place. Yeah. I don't know if the boy's shorter than no and I. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful and grateful for being here tonight. You know? Lovely. Is this, I know now this is your first GMAT. Tell us a little bit about your transition from being a secular artist to now serving Jesus Christ in a GMAT Awards, um, basically. Well, I came across on the Chini Baras in music five years now, and you know, God show me a lot of things, a lot of things are happening in my life, and things escape a lot of accidents in life. God show you where the right part, and I just keep us going back being stubborn until I get to realize where I have to be. And I know I made the change two years ago, and I'm grateful to be in here in the team at first time. Yeah. Yeah. How are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, well, it's been great seeing some of the legends, Sean Daniel, seeing some great vocals by Mark Isaacs, you know? So, it's going interested for the one, man. You're now sold out for Jesus Christ. Encourage those who are tuned in right now to, to encourage them to live for Jesus Christ, the decision that you also had to make. Yeah, well, you know, I pray in all the youths and them take the right path and you know, walk the right walk. Fiki first the kingdom of Elo, him and the righteousness and all other things shall be added on. You think? Well said, well said. Thank you so very much. So we have brand new upcoming gospel minister, Amy. I mean, Shaka Pro spoke so highly of you just now. Yeah. Tell us how you feel about being a part of GMATS. Um, I mean, it's my first time here and I can see that the, en the energy in this place is up. Yeah. And I really enjoy it and I look forward to being a part of um, GMAT in the future. Yeah. GMAT 2022 continues. I have Esther Dyer here with the award. As you know, um, she accepted it on behalf of her brother, Samuel Dyer. How do you feel receiving this award for your brother? Listen, I am so elated and happy to just be here on his behalf. I'm super proud of Sam. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, although I'm still crushed by his passing and I wish it was him here standing, connecting yeah. our lifetime achievement award, yes. you know. You, you would prefer them to be alive while getting something like this. Yes. But I'm still really happy. I'm yeah. proud of him. Yeah. 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 How did you feel about that they actually took the opportunity to honor your brother at such an event like GMAT? I'm thankful. I'm, mm -hmm. Because, you know, the thing is, sometimes they're working so hard all their life and Sam really gave his life, yes. gave his life to God and he gave his all. He didn't go... He didn't go 50%, 10%, 1%. He gave his full hundred and maybe more. Yeah. And I feel like the fact that people are recognizing him and showing the love is amazing yeah. to us and the entire family. Trust me. Now, how's, how's the family um, handling this, Esther? You it's it's and... been difficult, but for, like my parents, because of their faith in God, you know, they know where Sam is. Yeah. So yeah. they're not grieving as much. I think it took a harder toll on like me, the kids and his wife and yeah. stuff like that. But we understand we understand where he is and at least his legacy will live on. Because yes. he has a whole album of music still to be released. Wow. Listen. His music will live on, trust me. Yeah. So we continue with our interviews. Um, this guy, M Mikhail, you did the tribute for Samuel Dyer. Yeah. How did it feel actually being on the stage and having to do a tribute for Samuel Dyer? Um, surreal, uh, because there, there were many elements to it that, that kind of had me like, all right, this, this is kind of real. This is well, more real than it already was. Um, and, and then, of, of course, having to pull it up and hold it together until you know, backstage. Yeah. Uh, backstage, that was the waterworks. Oh, yeah. you cried? Yeah, yeah. Oh. That was, that was the waterworks, so. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, How were you able to be on the stage and knowing that, you know, you represent, uh, giving a tribute for such, you know, uh, a mighty man of God, great mm -hmm. vocals. How did you feel being presented with such an honor to sing on and give a tribute to honestly, Samuel? Honestly, uh, for the first time in a long time since I started with the music, um, this would have been when uh, a lot of jitters came in. Wow. And, and no, no lies or no gassing. This was when the jitters really came in for yeah. the first time in a long while. Um, so the weekend itself was a bit rough because it was me saying, okay, I want to yeah. do him justice. justice. You know, I, I want to do his ministry justice and, and also touch lives and, and, and pray that the audience, they are blessed by, that, by what they get. Yeah. You know, by what they hear. Well done. Thank you so very much, Mikel. God bless you, Richly.